welcome to the servant practice 18 CVL 57 first start with the what are the instruments used in the chain surveying okay this is the image of the chain generally it is made up of a steel galvanized material in this chain instrument there are number of small wires are there these are connected by the a small rings okay this instrument is for the measurement of a linear measurements okay okay this is the schematic diagram of the chain instrument at the end of the chain there is a handle is there like this so you can hold the chain easily and it is attached with the series of connected wires so the one important point of this chain instrument is link so distance from the this center of the this ring to the center of the this ring this is called as a one link the distance of the one link will be generally it is equal to the 20 centimeter this will be least count of a metric chain and every time it is not possible to counting the number of links so that's why at some distances they are marking the with a tally so directly you can measure the count the number of tallies then with respect to distances marking on the this tally you can directly measure the distance of distance between the points so in the chain there are different types of chains are there that is metric chain what we have discussed in the previous that is metric chains it is in the metric units the least count of the chain is again same as it is one link is equal to 20 centimeter next one is Gunter's chain it is also called as a surveyor chain the length of this chain is 66 feet long and it consists of a 100 links so the one link will equal, equal to 66 feet divided by 100 will get the one link is equal to 0.66 feet next the engineers chain it is the 100 feet long and 100 links are there so each link will be equal to it is one feet then last one is revenue chain this chain is 33 feet long and it consists of a 16 links so 33 divided by 16 will get the length of the one link generally revenue chain will be used in the 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 whatever the linear measurements it is required in the higher accuracy next we we'll discuss about the some more instruments used in the chain surveying start with the first one that is arrows okay these are the images of the arrows these are the made of of a galvanized steel material at the top it is shape of a ring at the bottom they are marking the sharpen edge so these are you can easily insert into the ground generally main use of the arrows is for the marking of the stations on the surface of the ground next instrument is ranging rod okay these are the image of the ranging rod generally it is made up of a hollow pipe in diameter is 50 mm and the length of the these ranging rods will be available it is 2 to 3 meter or in some cases it is available in the 4 meter also and one more important and alternative some distances on the these instrument we are marking the, the with the different colors maybe combination of the red white or black white the main intention of the marking of the these colors on the ranging rod you can easily identify in the field for a longer distances next one is cross top the main use of the cross top is for establishing the perpendicular offsets from a given line in this type of cross top there are two types are there one is open cross top this is the simple cross top it is made up of a wooden material 
and the top of the wooden material they are marking the grooves so you can see from the this side to this side. similarly from here to here so what we have what we have to do so this line is along the main line then you have to along the perpendicular line you can erect the by using a under this line okay so one more type of cross top it is made up of a steel material and there are two small holes are there for the eye side and two more sides we are making the a small thread is attached this thread is we can coincide with the with respect to ranging rods so for these two instrument there is a one stand is there like this this one this is the made up of a wooden material or steel material for the is this th these two instrument will be attached on the top of the this stand next one is french cross top okay, these are the image of ima this is the image of the french cross top this is instrument it is in the shape of the octagonal brass tube okay the whatever the vertical slits slides are there slits are there made up of on the all the surface of the that one in alternative direction so just observe here it is top here on the under side it is bottom here okay this is also one of the instrument used for the erecting a perpendicular offsets next one is plumb bob plumb bob means what this is the image of the plumb bob it is attached with the thread for the transferring the from points higher elevate to the ground okay generally this is used for the transferring the measuring a distance on the sloping ground for transferring the from point to the ground by a suspending of the plumb bob so just observe here okay this is sloping ground you have to measure distance of p to the q in horizontal so you have to erecting a tape or chain along this line like this now you have to transfer this point to the at this point okay in that point at this point you have to take the, this plumb bob just suspend it up till it touches the ground then you can mark on the ground stations okay this is the main use of the plumb bob or coming to the plane table surveying if you are point on the drawing board you can easily transfer the the whatever the point on the drawing sheet to the ground by using a plumb bob instrument next one that is offset rod this is same as the ranging rod but it is available in the 2 to 3 meter the main use of the offset rod is you can use the perpendicular offset for a shorter length then next that is pegs these are the images of the pegs it is made up of a wooden material at the bottom it is sharp and the bot in the top it is in square shape the length of the this pegs will be it is 150 meter sorry 150 mm and square size is it is 25 mm by 25 the main use of the pegs will be for marking the residential boundary just observe in the images at the top they have mark marked the with the white color they have different color you are using means it is help the for finding the pegs on the ground level then last that is optical square these are the image of the optical square it is also used for the perpendicular offsets only it consists of a circular box in 50 mm diameter 12.5 mm in depth and here this is eye space eye sight here you can see from here to here so this is main line okay this is one of the ranging rod is hold fixed on the this point so you have to erect a perpendicular along the at this point keep your this instrument on the at that point where you required the perpendicular line then in the instrument at some distances 
দেওয়া মার্ক করতে অ্যাটাচ করতে এ স্মল গ্লাসেস ওকে সো দিস গ্লাসেস উইল বি অ্যাটাচ ইন দি ফর্টি ফাইভ ডিগ্রি লাইক দিস সো হোয়াট দ্য মেন ইউজ অফ দি দিস ওয়ান ইজ ফর রিফ্লেক্টিং দি দিস রেঞ্জিং গড সাম ওয়ান উইল ডি হোল্ড দি রেঞ্জিং গড হিয়ার দিস রেঞ্জিং গড বি রিফ্লেক্টেড ইন দিস গ্লাস দেন দ্য হোয়াট আর দ্য ইমেজ ইন দিস গ্লাস উইল বি রিফ্লেক্টেড টু দি দিস গ্লাস সাম ওয়ান ইউ হ্যাভ টু সি ফ্রম হিয়ার টু দিস সাইড টু দি দিস রেঞ্জিং গড ইফ ইট ইজ দিস পার্সন উইল বি মুভিং ইন দি লেফট সাইড অর রাইট সাইড লাইক দিস দেন ইট ইজ রিফ্লেক্টেড ইন দি উইথ রিসপেক্ট টু গ্লাস দেন ইন দিস গ্লাস দ্য হোয়াট আর দ্য রিঙ্গস রেঞ্জিং রড কোয়েন্সাইড উইথ দি দিস গ্রাউন্ড রেঞ্জিং রড দেন স্টপ দি মুভমেন্ট অফ দি দিস রেঞ্জিং রড দেন ইউ ক্যান এরেক্ট এ জয়েন দি দিস টু পয়েন্টস ইউ গেট দি পারপেন্ডিকুলার অপসেটস ওকে দিস আর দি সাম ইনস্ট্রুমেন্টস ইউজড ইন দি চেইন সার্ভিং 